The room smells like chocolate and there are hot brownies cooling off on the stove as Christine Etheridge and her partner wait for their oldest son, who they adopted, to get home from school. Almost four years ago, they decided to start fostering children through the Up Center, a group that provides foster care and adoption, among other services. Some children come in and just be here a weekend or we've had children come in two or three months, so you never know the duration of the stay. She says opening up your home is an emotional experience. There's a lot of rewards from, you know, being a foster parent for you and for the children. About 16 months ago, they took in a newborn baby who, like more and more children across the country, was addicted to opiates. It was tumultuous for him when he first came home. We're not showing the child for privacy reasons, but Christine says it took him a while to withdraw. He was extremely sick, had tremors and seizure-like behavior. It's And it's very hard on an on a infant that's four or five pounds to go through this exact same thing that a full grown adult's going through. And across the state, the number of children born addicted and kids being taken away from their homes because the parents are addicted has increased. Heather Wilson, the intake and recruitment manager at the Up Center says they felt the effects. Well, in the last three years, we see it. We see an increase of children that come in and they're coming in right from the hospital. According to the Virginia Department of Social Services, back in 2010, 19% of kids entering the foster care system were there because their parents were hooked on drugs. And the numbers have gradually increased to 30% in 2017. But the state says they don't track exactly what kinds of drugs the parents are abusing. There are more children being placed in the foster care system across the nation, mainly due to the opiate crisis. Foster care expert Dr. John DiGiarmo says there are fewer foster parents, caseworkers are overloaded, overwhelmed, and under-resourced. He says the children are the ones impacted. These are children who are victims of horrible circumstances, and the vast majority of these children just want somebody to care about them enough. Experts say the need for foster parents is great. We're looking for single foster parents, um, two-parent households, LGBTQ sensitive homes. And that need in our community is what caused Christine and her partner to take action to become foster parents. We want him to have the best foot forward in life. In love with the kids they've opened their home and hearts to. In Virginia Beach, I'm Marker Cavanaugh, News 3.